From the echoes of the past of the regional industrial area towards the blooming technology-driven knowledge economy, we are now witnessing an echelon of unprecedented investments in our region, with cross-border collaborations at the dawn of becoming common ground. These collaborations typically focus on prime disciplines, such as life and medical sciences and technologies, bio-based opportunities and biomaterial sciences. Within this quinquennium of thrilling changes, biomimetics has been exemplary by bridging these disciplines already at the early stage of regional metamorphosis, proving the viability of its initial goals. Biomimetics, a multidisciplinary team of players from the major academic centres of the Mercer Rhine region, united in one project, unique, ambitious, and willing to jointly build a regional future, just by expanding their own capacities and by helping each other to grow faster. A fruitful collaboration, colourful and inspiring. Within this interregional project, we had the chance to collaborate with partners from different disciplines, from different regions. And this actually allows to extend our horizon by collaborating with people with different backgrounds. So we had access to different types of samples, specialized nanoparticles, we had the flex fibers from Maastricht, and this triggered our thinking and also to rationalize our strategies with respect to valorization. In brief, newly developed academic knowledge must make sure it does not end up in the so-called valorization valley of death. Academic knowledge institutes can play an important role, not only by creating knowledge that can be valorized, but also by providing their powerful infrastructure to SMEs to accelerate market introduction. When we're speaking about putting new biomaterials into the market, then we have a number of challenges that we need to tackle. First of all, there is the scaling up of the production, because you need to have enough material in order to do the tests that are needed actually to prove, first of all, efficacy. Do they really do what we want them to do? And secondly, uh, are they safe? For this, we need to do a lot of experiments, preclinical, clinical experiments. They cost a lot of money, and normally SMEs, the small companies, do not have that type of resources. And for that reason, cross-border collaboration, like we do in biomimetics, using investments of European Union and local authorities actually, can provide the money to do these tests, and that way the knowledge of actually the academic centers can be transferred to companies in a way that they are capable of putting the new biomaterials into the market. It is with pleasure and with great honor that Biomimetics presents its achievements. With over 40 people working at its R&D, Biomimetics realized more than 175 publications, of which over 40 can be categorized in the internationally published peer-reviewed section. Moreover, during its running period, Biomimetics has been represented at over 100 meetings, providing more than 125 presentations. Biomimetics resulted in no less than 11 PhD theses defenses, an astonishing accomplishment. In addition, more than 55 undergraduate students have been provided with the opportunity to fulfill part of their education within the Biomimetics project. With regard to valorization of its academic R&D, Biomimetics has for sure realized particular successes. Patents have been filed, more than five spin-out projects are underway or foreseen, and Biomimetics has contributed to the spin-off company of the University of Liège, Polylife. These achievements all provide superb sustainable opportunities. Our research center succeed uh, to uh, generate the scale-up process of the synthesis of uh, functionalized polyester which have been tailored for medical and pharmaceutical application. So thanks to the financial support of Interac, uh, our research center has optimized this process in such a way that actually 
we are able to generate not gram scale, but kilogram scales of this uh, new polymer for medical application. So that's definitely uh, a breakthrough uh, which, uh, that we succeed to realize and which will then give rise the opportunity to share these materials at the interreg levels. Of course, the future is there. We should go on the market. We should valorize these materials. So that means that it will open new opportunity, but also new challenge. Finally, Biomimedics has worked together with over 10 regional SMEs with good collaborative value to build upon her valorization network, hereby securing future successes. Under the guidance of our leading partner Maastricht, we were already focused from the very beginning on the translational aspects of the project so that we are not only actually paying attention to the basic principles as we are used to in an academic background. Right from the beginning there was already a focus with respect to translational aspects within this particular interregional project. It meant stepping out of our academic comfort zone, thinking beyond the boundaries of the R&D laboratories and classical academic careers, a venture that paid off. Biomimetics provides a great cross-border collaborative network which is of great importance for knowledge institutions and also SMEs across the border uh, and it enhances greatly the output of valorization of these institutions. Biomimetics spin-outs are evident at the level of high-tech sensor technologies, bio-based materials, smart hydrogels and nanotechnologies to find new markets within life science medical field, food and personal care. Options to bring public knowledge to the market by involving companies. It's very important, uh, specifically in this region, to keep these initiatives going. We have large industries, we have a lot of small companies that create jobs for this region. So um, I think it's extremely important to do that. And um, the governments and the knowledge institutions and, and also the companies really need to focus on keeping that momentum going and uh, providing sufficient funds to um, stimulate the, that innovation. By enforcing the cross-border triple helix interactions, we can make this happen. In this region, we have a great collaboration between all the parties involved in valorization and in the so-called triple helix. In fact, uh, the Ministry of Economic Affairs of the Netherlands has designated this region as a best practice for collaboration between partners in the area. And I think that's of huge importance. So if in the coming years we keep on track and continue to do the right things right, this will create enormous uh, amounts of jobs uh, for the next uh, decade or so. The joint future is bright. The future is colourful. We thank all those in support of Biomimetics, our people, our regional and national governments, Interreg and the European Commission for its challenge to invest in our future. We look forward to forthcoming collaborations and a common contribution to your regional growth. <laughs>